You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Twenty-one years ago, little Allie Canario moved two doors down from my family on Avery Heights Drive. I would say that since that day, Allie has been my best friend, but it is far more accurate to say that she has truly been my sister. All of us in this room whose lives have been touched by Allie's light can attest to the passionate, intelligent, giving woman she has grown into. Allie has always been a unique soul, highly achieving, a lover of life, and a dreamer. Charlie, today's the day. We've been dreaming, planning this day for what feels like forever. I've known for many years now that I wanted to marry you. In just a few short hours, it'll all be official. I can't wait to see you soon. I love you so much. You're Brad, Alley Girl. Overwhelmed, I don't even know what to say right now. But, oh, don't cry. Oh. Oh. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I like it. Let's just get married down here. I like I it. I know. Allie, ever since the moment I met you, I knew there was something special, something I couldn't describe. From the very first time you called me Charlie, you had me one. A few days later, after our very first library date, I knew I was gonna marry you. From this day forward, I promise to love you, to laugh with you, to take care of you, and to comfort you. I love you more than I thought possible. You're my world, my rock, my honey, I'm so excited to start the next chapter of our amazing journey together, and I'm so lucky to spend my life with you. I'm so proud to be your husband, and so thankful to be by your side. I love you. Charlie, since the moment I met you, you have shown me true, unconditional love and what it means to have a soulmate. I'm excited to share our lives together as dog parents to the best pups, maybe not today, <laughs> and as our partners on this amazing adventure. You are my perfect other half and my rock. I choose you, Charlie, to be my husband, my best friend, my forever dinner date, and my dance party partner in the middle of a grocery store on a busy Sunday morning. I love you, Charlie, and I promise to forever choose you. Today I see a beautiful bride sitting next to her new husband. 
And this is the time where I'm supposed to welcome Charlie to the family. But the fact is, Charlie's already been a part of our family, and he's been that for quite some time. Faith and I cannot be more thankful and proud and excited to have Charlie as a son-in-law. He is kind, caring, and a compassionate man. But most importantly, he loves our daughter. So in conclusion, I'd like to say, as you go through the journey of marriage together, in good times and bad, always remember, hold hands and skip. I was there for it all. I was there when you first laid eyes on each other, when you first fell in love. And over the years, I have seen you both grow as a couple, as friends, and recently as a family with your two pups. I have truly been blessed to see you both thrive together as you both bring out the best in each other. It is lovely to see how Allie and Charlie support each other in their pursuit of dreams and happiness and offer such positivity and care to all those around them. At this time, I would like to ask everyone to join me in a toast to Allie and Charlie. May your marriage be full of laughter and a love that continues to grow and bloom. I love you guys.